Welcome to Science Tree Channel and from today we will going to talk about the practicals from class 10th. So the practical number 1 is identify sodium, calcium, strontium, barium, copper and potassium ions by flame test. So students always remember whenever you have to go for the practical you should know that when you have to write it on the sheet which you have given by the examiner. You have to write all the things with bold headings, like in this way. Material required. No doubt, whenever we have to do something practically, the one thing which is very important that how we are going to do that and what are the materials which are necessary in doing these practicals. So in case of this experiment, the required material is watch glass, or we can also say operators in terms of chemistry. Nichrome wire, burner and glass rod. So how are we going to do this practical? We need these ions like sodium, calcium, strontium, barium, copper and potassium. Here I have taken sodium chloride, calcium chloride and all the chlorides of these ions. As simply they are available in the laboratories, we will gonna take any type of a salt or any type of chlorides for doing the experiments from these ions. So what is watch glass? Basically this concave type operators is a watch glass. And why we use this? We use this just to take our sodium chloride, calcium chloride or any type of a chemical or salt with which we have to perform the experiment. So that's why we take the watch glass. Then nichrome wire. Yes, this wire is very important. This one. Okay. And what is nichrome wire? Basically this wire is taken so that we can take a pinch of salt on this wire and then burn it on the flame. For this reason we take this nichrome wire. After that burner, definitely we need heat, we need flame so that we will be able to understand that how flame changes its color with respect to these ions. So for that case we take the burner. Basically this is the burner by which we will take the flame glass rod. Glass rod is used on which we will hang our nichrome wire so that we can carry out this practical. Metal lines which we have to take I have already explained. This is beaker. Why we called it a beaker? We called it a beaker because it's, it has a beak. Yes, like this. To pour the material so that's why it is known as a beaker. So you have to memorize all these names. I have also shown you the pictures so that you can easily memorize them. What is this? Yes, this is beaker. And what is this? Watch glass. And this? Burner. And what is this? This is glass rod with the nichrome wire. So very simple. These are the operators which you need to carry out this practice. We also have to take HCl in a beaker and I will tell you later on that why we need this, okay? So now we have to start. Now the second most important herring is procedure. You should be very clear about what you are writing in your paper. So please be simple as much as you can. Whenever you have to write the procedure on your sheets in your exams, Always remember, you have to write them in such a way that you are doing that practical. You have to use that, I took this. You have to use the past tense. You don't have to write the procedures like you have uh, seen in the practical copies. Okay? You have to write them in such a way that you are doing this procedure. So for that, you have to uh, write them with I and you have to write them in points. I think it will be more easy for the examiner to check them, to easily understand them. When you simply write them in the points that I have done this, 
and for that this result I have taken. So what we have to do? First of all, I took nichrome wire and make small loop of it. Now it's not necessary that you have to take the nichrome wire and you have to make up the loop. You can simply do this spectacle just by taking the glass rod as well. Okay? Just we want to uh, put some salt on the glass rod so that we can move it up to the flame. Nothing else. Secondly, then I dip the wire in hydrochloric acid and then heat it on flame till the wire imparts no color. Yes, this is one of the very important point in this practical. Don't forget to clean it. The wire which you have taken, you have to dip in HCl and then you have to take it on the flame so that it will become clear. There will be no residues of any type of the salt or any type of any impurity which is present on the wire or it can affect the result of your practical. So that's why we have to dip the wire in the hydrochloric acid and then take it on the flame so that the wire imparts no color. Then I took small amount of salt. Which salt? The salt whose color I want to note. Like here we have taken sodium, barium, copper and so many others. Let's take them one by one. On the loop of the nichrome wire which have to be tested and hold it in oxidizing blue flame. So please remember you have to hold it on blue flame which you will get from the burner. Then I noted the characteristic color of the flame imparted by the metal line. Most of the time students confuse that whether we have to take the change color in a flame or in the metal line. So go with the flame color, okay? The metal line have to impart the color to the flame and the color of the flame will gonna change. And you easily observe these type of practicals in your daily routine lives as well like the most important things are the fireworks. You all have enjoyed the fireworks and the weddings. Yes, these fireworks are basically <coughs> made up of metal lines. That's why when we give heat to them and when they move away, what happens? They give light, they give sounds and they give beautiful colors. And from where that colors comes? Definitely they comes from the metal lines. So all those colors which we observe in the fireworks, we're going to observe in this practical. Okay? Then I repeated the experiments with other salts in the same manner. I recorded the color of the flame imparted by the particular metal line in the observation table. So this is all about procedure. After that, we have to move towards the observations. Most important point or we can say that the most important heading of the practical sheet paper or practical copy. Why? Because all the results gonna be uh, included in observation. All the results will gonna be nurtured in observations. So here sodium chloride imparts golden yellowish color to the flame. When we take sodium chloride on the metal wire and then heat it in the uh, oxidizing blue flame, what we get? We get golden yellowish color. So that's what we are showing in this picture. Calcium chloride imparts brick red color to the flame. Okay? As I've shown you in the picture as well. So that you can memorize it. Strontium chloride imparts crimson red color to flame. Whenever we have sodium, uh, sorry, whenever we have strontium chloride on the wire, what happens? And we take it onto blue oxidizing flame, then we get a color which is crimson red. So this is the observation which we have taken by taking our uh, salts on the flame. Barium chloride imparts crazy green color to flame. Grassy green color, okay? 
and after that copper chloride imparts bluish green color to flame like this which we have shown you in the picture you can easily memorize the colors when you definitely uh, learn them or when you say, uh, definitely get it by your eyes as well as by your ear potassium chloride imparts violet color to the flame so this is all about the observations of our practicals okay now the precautionary measures how we can forget it no doubt whenever we have to work in the laboratories we should know that what are the precautions and every experiment in every practical has some important precautions attached with that practicals like in this case safety goggles and lab apron must be worn at all times in the laboratory but this is not specific for this practical only you can also have these goggles and the lab apron for other experiments as well many of these salts are toxic okay if you came in contact with any solution wash the contacted area thoroughly hydrochloric acid is corrosive handle it with extreme care must wash nichrome wire with hydrochloric acid and heat it in oxidizing flame every time before performing flame test with different metals why because when you have taken different metals on the same nichrome wire definitely they will gonna mix and the color will not be properly shown on the flame of each and every metal so that's why just like as we sterilize the operators before using it in the hospitals in the similar way we have to sterilize our or we can say that we have to make our nichrome wire clean before going into the next matter now what is this basically this is the tabular form of your observation okay and uh, always remember i have shown you separately each and every color each and every metal line but remember that was just for your convenience whenever you have to write it on the sheet in front of your examiner you have to go with the tabular form you have to uh, add all these things in a table in a data form in a collective form so that examiner can easily go through all the points that what you have done in your lab and what are the results of your practicals so in this way you have to make a table you have to write the metal line names and then the flame color and then you have to make the columns and the rows and you have to show all the colors in each and every column like sodium ion golden yellowish calcium ion brick red color to the flame strontium ion crimson red color copper ion bluish green barium ion crazy green and potassium ion violet so in this way you have to show, show all your data in a tabular form Thank you so much for more videos keep watching have a great day